Howdy folks and welcome back to the Redneck Brody YouTube channel. In this special today I'm going to be opening a mystery box with cassette tapes in it. Now, it's a mystery box to me because I forgot which ones I picked, so I don't know if that technically counts as a mystery box, but I'm going to say it does. So in this box, there's some juicy cassette tapes in here that I'm going to be able to pump iron to. So I'm hoping that I picked some good ones. So I'm going to open it up here. Now I got these cassettes off of eBay. So if you want some cassettes, head on over to eBay because they got a whole bunch of them. The grand opening. You see any good ones in there? Well, I got a lot of bubble wrap, which is always a plus. For store specials and sale, follow info. So on this certain uh, eBay seller, if you buy $25 worth of cassettes, you get free shipping. So I was like, hmm, why not? Let's just, uh, let's splurge. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself. So right off the bat, I know that I picked some good cassettes because Tanya Tucker is first on the list of mystery cassettes. The best of Tanya Tucker. This one was made in 1981. So that's a good pick for sure. The next one we have is the Judd's Heartland. Uh, this one was made in 1987. That's a solid year right there. It's uh, got Turn It Loose on there, Cow Cow Boogie, etc. So I'm excited to listen to this one. Then we got another Tanya Tucker. This one was made in 1988. Strong enough to bend. So the next one we got Linda Rostad. Linda Ronstadt. We got a Linda Ronstadt. What's new? This is um one of her jazzier albums here. It's more like if you're if you want to invite a date, like if you want. If you met somebody at the Dollar General and you wanted to bring them over for drinks like a Mountain Dew spritzer, you could put this on and it would be sure to seduce whoever you're trying to seduce. Um, this one was made in 1983. We got another Judd's. I went on a Judd's uh, splurge this time because I just love their sound. Uh, love can build a bridge. This one was made in 1990. Born to be blue, etc. So this one's kind of starting to get into the more newer side of country music. When Garth Brooks blew up country music and made it about flying in on stage. Uh, we got another Judd's. 
This one, rocking with the rhythm. Look at their hair on there. Isn't that crazy? We should bring that hairstyle back. 1985. Another Judd tape. I wonder what the Judds are up to these days. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Did you say the Judds? Because I got another. This one is the Judd's greatest hit, so this would definitely be a good one to listen to while you're doing some bicep curls or squats. This one was made in 1988. Now this is one of my favorite Dolly albums, Rainbow. It's a little less known, lesser known, you know, you don't go uh, on the world record site and see this picture on there, but look at that picture of Dolly. Um, one of my favorite Dolly songs is on here. Um, actually, a couple. I like The River Unbroken. Um, Red Hot Screaming Love. That one is another seducer that will seduce anyone from Dollar General um, Dump the Dude is pretty catchy you know if you want an al album you know if you were dumped by some shitty guy and and you just wanna like when Crystal was dumped you know she coulda played Dump the Dude by Dolly Parton and she would have gotten over that um, breakup in 2 minutes 30 seconds uh, I can't talk this album up y'all should look it up on Spotify on YouTube cause not a lot of people know about this one this was her 1987 album and I find that anything from 1987 is a good album Uh, the next one is Crystal Gale. This is Loretta Lynn's sister. And not a lot of people know about Crystal Gale. Um, but I think she deserves some hype because she has some good hits. This one was made in 1983. And the very last one I don't know if I want to show this one because I heard he was making fun of Willie Nelson at a concert the other day I don't appreciate that but I got Travis Tritt he's alright so that's the last one. I mostly have uh, all female singers here, which I believe they need more uh, hype in the country scene because they have the best music. It's the women. And if you don't agree with me, that's all right. But I mean, Reba, you got Reba, you got Dolly, you got Loretta Lynn, you know, I mean, the guys got some good ones too, but there's nothing like an 80s women country ballad to soothe your soul, or if you want to do jazzercise, you can do jazzercise to it. I don't know if you could do much of that listening to Travis Tritt but maybe you could anyway thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any of these albums and which one's your favorite and I'll catch you on the next one adios